Well, hello, my name is Aaron Filbrin, a Director of Student Services at the Master's Seminary, and it is a privilege today to be able to be joined by Travis and Chelsea Flanoy. And Travis is a, a graduating senior this coming May, and uh, just excited to hear from him uh, his senior testimony, to hear about God's faithfulness and provision and care uh, through their time here at seminary. So glad to have you here, Travis, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to you so that we can hear uh, a little bit more of God's faithfulness in your life. Hello, everyone. My name is Travis Flanoy, and I'm from the fine state of Louisiana, specifically in the town of Colfax. I grew up in the woods on a lake about 12 minutes to the closest town of about 1,200 people, very small area. And my grandparents, they adopted me when I was a month old, along with my sister, Charlie. I did not grow up in a family going to church, although there was some sort of reverence for Jesus in our home. My father, he gave me an NIV Bible a long time ago, and I never really made it past the first few chapters of Genesis. I, I thought I was a good person. I, I didn't steal. I didn't do drugs. I didn't drink like a lot of the other kids that I went to school with. I mean, I was the kid that made good grades and I was well behaved. I didn't get in trouble. However, I lived a very immoral lifestyle in my thinking, my actions, what I watched. It was my whole life. And when I was in junior high, I began listening to heavy metal music. And my, my hero was Marilyn Manson, a very anti-Christian shock rocker. I was dressed in black, spikes. Uh, I was I was not TMS material. My goal was to be a professional drummer and tour the world. Well, I joined the Air Force in 2010, and I was stationed in Northern California. And I, I didn't have any friends, no family. I was beginning to feel alone and out of place. And my mama, she kept telling me to go to church. You'll meet some nice people there. And so I finally did. It was the first weekend after Thanksgiving. Specifically, it was on November 28th of 2010. I, I met the family who played the music during the worship service, and they actually had a ministry off base. Uh, it was a house ministry. And I, I kept coming around. I was having some girlfriend problems at the time. So I thought, hey, I'll talk to the pastor. He'll, he'll know what, what I need to do about this. Well, he led me to his office. I told him what was going on, and he asked me, when you die, what's going to happen to you? Or why, why would God say, uh, Travis, why, why should I allow you into my kingdom this day? And I just thought, what kind of question is that? Did you not listen to anything I said? I mean, how can anybody know that? Who knows? Well, he turned to his Bible, to Romans chapter 8, verse 1. This is what he read to me. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I'm pretty sure he explained the whole gospel to me. But that was just so captivating to me to know where you will go after you die. You can know that. I was so captivated by that. And I began, to coming, I began coming around to Bible studies. I enjoyed learning more about Jesus and the Bible. And I later, not exactly sure when, but I began to learn sin separated me from God. I wasn't as good as I thought I was. Uh, I needed Christ. He died on the cross for my sin, and I, I had to repent and put my faith in him. That, that all started in and around December 2010. And again, I'm not exactly sure what day I was saved, but it was around that time frame. And after that, I was just so hungry to learn about the Bible, so hungry to learn about Jesus. It, it wasn't easy for me to understand, though. I, I tried so hard to learn, but between the culture and the background and the context, I, I, I stumbled through it. But after a few weeks, I really began to piece things together. I started to learn things about the scriptures. And this is what really stood out to me. I, uh, I had to learn these things and i started to see it is so important for people to know this people need to know this and i wanted to help people who had no idea 
just like I had no idea. And I even wanted to help people who struggled learning the Bible themselves. And my desire to teach, it grew. And the pastor I was uh, of the church there, he guided me to the Master Seminary. And, and here we are. In uh, August of 2016, I got out of active duty Air Force. And my family and I, we moved down to Southern California to start seminary. And I just want to praise God for a few things here, how he got me through. And first and most importantly is my family. Uh, my sweet Chelsea, we, um, we moved here and she has cared for our children. She's cared for our home. You've cared for me. And I'm so grateful for you. I love you, and I, I praise God for providing her for me. And God gave Chelsea and I two children. Bo, he was three months old when we moved down here. And then Bella was actually born in 2019. And it has been so much fun being your father. And God has taught me how to love and understand the gospel even greater by having you. And, you know, some might advise not to have kids during seminary, but some that might be good counsel, but for us, it was wonderful. And it kept me from being in the books too much. I, I loved having our children and my family during seminary. Uh, God also provided for us financially over these last four years uh, through our family, our friends, other churches. God has provided thousands of dollars through you. We love you. We'll never be able to repay what you've done for us. We are so grateful for you. Mm -hmm. We also praise God for the GI Bill, for the jobs we've had down here during seminary. Financially, the Lord has provided greatly for us. God also provided a wonderful church for us down here. We started attending Santa Cruz Baptist in late 2017. God provided a wonderful pastor and his wife, who have mentored Chelsea and I since we've been down here. The congregation has, has cared for us, has loved us. They've taught the Bible excellently to us. Uh, Santa Clarita Baptist Church, we love you. We are going to greatly miss you. We look forward to staying in touch with you in the future. And lastly, I just want to mention uh, the Master Seminary. It's been very precious to us. I have learned an incredible amount about God, his word, and how to minister to his people. Uh, to my professors, you men have helped me grow closer to God. You've helped me to learn how to help other people grow closer to God. I, I treasure your hard work. And I feel equipped to minister to God's people because of how you taught me. Our future plans, we're going to be meeting with the church soon after the semester is over in Oregon. And we're very excited to see where that goes. I want to thank everyone for listening and to God be the glory. Well, Travis, it is a, a real privilege to hear <clears throat> again um, the common thread that we hear through all of these testimonies, which is God's faithfulness, um, his love and care on display through your life. So thank you so much for sharing this testimony. And, and we will definitely be praying for you and Chelsea and your two children uh, with the, just the coming days, uh, what you have before you. So God bless and thank you for sharing with us today. Take thank care. you.